Beautiful day. Green Sheep of the family here. Trying to... I bought a shop smith to do some woodworking. I wanted something that would fit in the garage, and I've learned a lot along the way. The old things that we want to buy and restore can be a pain in the ass. Let's look at what I found on this one, and hopefully it's going to help you when you go buying and shopping for your shop smith. What we have here is a control sheave. Uh, and these move by sliding in. But you can see here, this one has cracked at the end. So the key, I was told, bent up and rattled and shook and eventually broke that. So I need a new key, and this is just a piece of metal that slides in. I've been told I can just get it a number of old school places. Motor and a machine. Um, when I bought the machine, you know, everything is all inside. It sounded terrible, but I bought it anyway. I looked inside the motor and found that this wire was in terrible condition and I don't know if that was how it came from the factory but it didn't have much of a stop here and the shielding inside was worn to where if anything moved it should be able to arc I would think so I got in with some uh, heat shrink tubing shrunk that up rejoined it to a new head and I'll be joining that back to the shell for the switch in just a little bit. So um, even if things look good on the outside, it could be fairly bad on the inside. So we move up from the motor and the two lower control sheaves to a higher control sheave. And this had a huge problem that I was unaware of. Wish I would have known that when I was purchasing. You can see this turns at the end. You can see these sheaves slide and it also has a keyway. So the uh, condition of the sheaves themselves and how the bearing is in the end here, you can see where the old bearing fits in and then it looks like you can just machine press some friction in there. Uh, the so bearing itself seized and no longer worked, which ripped the pin out. And this is a quadrant and it allows the speed dial to control your sheaves. This you can see just got bit into and so now it's not going to slide very easily as that little nubbin that's spinning moves up and down. You can see the wear pattern on this one and it just scoots right along. I believe you put a little grease on there, the teeth on the side of your speed dial. We have the quadrant here is the gear. This transfers the turning from your handle to the speed dial indicator. And so this rotates. Here you can see the quality of difference in the two teeth. Uh, maybe offered to a freebie for someone who has a worse condition one for the cost of shipping. Here in the quill, it has a bearing retaining ring. So I could easily replace this bearing with a little press action. It feels kind of crunchy. I have the old piece that people thought maybe it just shook from having other parts that were bad. This has a locking piece in it. And the more recent ones do not. Ew. You can hear that. Ooh, this one barely turns. A little love. I may have put some skate speed lube in here to break them free a little bit. You can feel both bearings when you wobble back and forth. They have play, so these need to be replaced. Uh, anytime you have that play, you're going to start wearing your machine parts by those thousandths. And these teeth right here, if they get pulled up, they're now pulling up on another piece of the machine, and that just creates hell where all these things sit and turn. Ooh, 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 this one, ooh, this one barely turns.